Hi, it's Lucy. I'm here to do a weekend reading vlog because I feel like it. I've never done one of these before. Let me know if you like it in the comments down below. It's Friday night currently. This weekend, I don't really have plans. Saturday night, I might have a crazy game night with some of my coworkers. Sunday, no plans. I usually try not to make plans on Sunday. Also, I don't really have any friends to hang out with. I got home from work like an hour ago, and then I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to do this. So we're here. Let's talk about what I'm currently reading and how that will transition into the weekend. So I'm currently reading three, two books. I'm currently reading two books. I'm listening to Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie on audiobook and I'm currently 35% of the way through. I like it so far. My only reference for Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's writing is Americana, and this is pretty different, not, not quite different. It's definitely different, but not as different as you might think. Purple Hibiscus follows a family in Nigeria, and specifically the daughter is the main character, and their father, like the patriarch of the family, is abusive, and it's about that and like how the whole family deals with it. And yeah, it's good so far. Um, very sad. Yearly TBR that I need to read. So I'm trying to get it all in in the first two weeks of December. And the second book I'm currently reading is Well Read Black Girl. I've been reading this since the end of October, I wanna say, or like November. And I'm like 58% through and it's really not a long read. I just haven't been picking it up because it's an ebook and I really wanna finish that this weekend. And the book that I haven't started is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I want to get like halfway through in this by the end of the weekend, maybe even further. <laughs> so I'm really trying to like read this weekend. My plan for the rest of the night, it's like 6.40. I'm gonna order dinner because I don't know how to cook. I do know how to cook, I just am lazy. And I'm gonna probably watch some Vlogmas videos and like other videos just to catch up. Uh, I also, in addition to reading, I also want to get some like booktube stuff done. So I want to start editing my November wrap up. That will be up on Sunday, hopefully, cross your fingers. So probably the most of the editing will be done tomorrow. That's kind of all I want to do tonight. Watch some videos, edit my November wrap up or start editing it. And I'd also want to get through like a couple more stories in Well Read Black Girl, or essays, I should say. I'm back to tell you that I have done almost nothing that I said I was gonna do. So this is kind of a rant, kind of not a rant, but I ordered dinner, I usually Postmates because I don't have a car and I can't drive. So anything that I want that's not in walking distance, I have to get delivered to me. I was in between like, oh, should I get this Mexican food or the Indian food has free delivery? But I was just like, no, let's get the Mexican food. It's cheaper, even though the Indian food is free delivery and I'm really hungry and the Mexican food is gonna take like 20 minutes and the Indian food was gonna take like over an hour. So I ordered the Mexican food and I waited. I sit here starving and then it comes, right? The Postmate delivered it to me. And then I come here, I open the food and what is in the bag? not Mexican food. Like I ordered enchiladas. It was a poke bowl, which is like a sushi kind of bowl. I feel like I probably would have eaten it anyway because I was so hungry, but it was full of stuff I don't even like. Like whoever actually ordered that has the most bland taste buds ever. It was literally avocado, brown rice, and pineapple with probably tuna it looked like. And I'm like, why would I want to eat that? So I ended up giving it to my roommate because she said she would eat it. And then I got a refund from Postmates. At this point, I waited like 40 minutes because I had to do something in between like getting food and opening it. So it'd been like almost an hour anyway. So I should have just ordered the Indian food. And then I went and got five guys. I didn't video it because I forgot. And I was starving, so I just ate it. And now I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and start editing my video, I guess, is my next thing. Oh, actually, I might do a clothing haul if I feel like it. I ordered clothes from Forever 21 on Black Friday and I just got it so I might just haul those clothes in case you guys are interested. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Good morning. Bikini Bottom. No, that's Whitney's brand. Anyway, it is 11 a.m. on Saturday. So yeah, last night, what did I do? I told you guys about my Postmates mishap and clearly I haven't learned my lesson because I just ordered McDonald's, not from Postmates. I used Uber Eats. But uh, hopefully they get the order right. Please don't judge me for ordering out all my food. It's raining and I don't have a car. <laughs> so I was gonna get Starbucks, which I can walk to, but they ran out of food. And yeah, I could cook 
for myself, but I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I haven't read anything. I don't know, I told you guys I was going to read and then I didn't. I ended up falling asleep. My plan right now is while I wait for my food to be delivered, it's going to be about 20-30 minutes. So while I wait for my food to be delivered, I'll read. And then when it comes, I usually watch YouTube videos when I eat because I can't do one thing at a time. So when I do that, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos I saw on the Twitters that Ari, also known as RK Gold, put up his like podcast, Sh Shadowed Saturday, featuring me. So if you're interested, you should go watch it or listen to it, I guess, because it's a podcast. I don't know if it's weird that I also want to listen to it because I'm just listening to my voice and I was there for the conversation so I know what I said but I just kind of want to see how it's all edited and everything so I'm probably gonna listen to that while I eat. Hi it's me back again it's like 1 30 now i have not done as much reading as you probably would have hoped as i would have hoped as anyone would have hoped so far i have read one additional essay in well-read black girl and it was a good essay i gave it four stars i don't remember who wrote it i forgot but they talked about interviewing I forgot who they interviewed, but the person who wrote Citizen, an American Lyric, they interviewed and talked about how that poetry collection book affected them, like reading that. I wanted to read Citizen before, but now I really want to read it. So that was good. Like the essays are really short, so there's like a lot of them. I could definitely finish it today if I like am focused, but I keep getting distracted like right now where it's clearly like a whole setup because I got these lights on Monday, right? I filmed my September wrap up with these lights and I've been editing it and the quality is not as good as I want it to be and I'm like I got these lights so the quality should be better right but it looks worse like daylight I know is always going to be the best but right now it's cloudy for example so I'm trying to like mess around with the lights to see if I can get better quality out of them it might also be because my phone is like now crapping out on me and I film on my phone I just want to see the setup and stuff like no matter what this looks like it's going in the vlog but I thought I would film something I also read maybe another 40 minutes or listen to another 40 minutes of purple hibiscus it's really good so far everything I said yesterday still stands and I figured since I'm here remember yesterday when I was like oh I got this package full of clothes I'm just gonna do a haul of the clothes because why not I know most of you do not care about the clothes so just skip ahead but I got a lot of stuff so figured might as well open it I started opening it yesterday and then I didn't feel like opening the rest so I didn't but yeah this was all got during the forever 21 black friday sale everything was 30 percent off including sale items I think I spent like 60 dollars on this order and I got a lot of stuff including a pair of jeans so first we have this shirt i don't know if you can see everything it's in a medium because i wanted it a bit bigger i also don't know my size anymore because i have gained some weight trigger warning if that's a thing for you but i don't know my size so i was really guessing a lot like usually in forever 21 shirts i'm a small and i haven't gained that much weight but all my weight has been gained in the bottom so in pants i don't know what i am and i have already ripped two of my pants which is great they were also old it was a combination of i outgrew them and they were older so like i said i don't know the size i only bought one pair of pants though so everything else should fit but also forever 21 is really hit or miss with sizes and like even their models they do something in those pictures i will never forget a shirt that went down to the model's knees and the model was 5'8 i remember because i always look at the measurements of the model at least even if they're like super unrealistic like picture perfect like it at least should have their accurate measurements right and it says she was 5'8 and she was wearing a small right and the shirt went down to like her at least her mid thigh and then i got the shirt i'm 5'4 5 5'5 5 5, and it went barely to my waistline so i don't really trust the pictures but i still i have to make an effort at least so the next thing i got let's just pull things out i'm just gonna open stuff Next thing I got, oh, these leggings. I love the Forever 21 leggings. They're so comfortable. Yeah, these are on the medium. I already have them, not these ones. I have these in black already, and I know the medium fits. They look like that. They're in burgundy. Why? I don't know. Where am I wearing burgundy leggings? I don't know. I got this belt. It's just black, and it has a buckle. Yeah, I got this shirt. It has a lettuce hem on the bottom. Uh, that's what they call this. I don't really know why they call it lettuce, but I don't know, I thought it was cute. And I'm trying to wear more colors, which is why it's like a mint green. 
and I got them in a small. Hopefully it fits. Another pair of leggings. These ones are black. I technically already own these. Oh, actually, these feel different from the other ones I have. Like these feel more spandexy, and they definitely look more spandexy. I feel like these are gonna be see-through. I'm worried now. Oh, I got this like turtleneck shirt. It's very thin. I didn't expect it to be this thin. I guess I should have expected it since it's Forever 21. It's from the Classic Heroine Collection. Wow. I bought it from the Contemporary Collection, which is more adult, I guess, and technically I'm an adult, but like the rest of Forever 21 is juniors. And this also might not fit now because the Contemporary Collection is a half size bigger than their regular stuff. Next, I got this sweater, which looks like it will feel lovely. So I'm super excited. It is not as long as I thought it would be. This is from their Cozy Collection. And I got in a medium. I got this shirt. It's white and plain. I wanted more shirts to wear under things. Last but not least, these jeans. These are my first pair of Forever 21 jeans. These are the Fairfax High Rise Skinny. I don't know if I threw away the receipt for this. That was so dumb. Uh, I haven't thrown away my garbage yet. So I'll look through my garbage, make sure I haven't, because looking at it now, it kind of looks a little big. Like I said, I don't know my size. Yeah, this is size 29. Maybe I could have gotten a 28. I'll put it on the screen if it fits or not. That's it, that's my Forever 21 haul. Thanks for coming to my beauty channel. I'll probably try and edit my September wrap up, just like finish that up, honestly, because I do want it to go up tomorrow. <laughs>
and got there and then I like told my coworker not to pick me up because it had been like he was supposed to get me at like 7:40. It was already 8 o'clock before the train had even come. So I was like, forget it, I'll just go because like obviously other people are at his apartment. So I was gonna be like, yeah, just leave everyone there. And then I had to take a lift. Anyway, it was cheaper than it would have been then if I had taken it from my house, but not like an hour and a half extra travel time cheaper. But yeah, the games are fun. But the plan for today, I want to finish Well Read Black Girl. I might finish Purple Hibiscus, maybe start Disc of Crows. I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore. And I also wanna wash my hair. So that'll probably be when I finish Purple Hibiscus. Um, I think this, it's time for the straight hair to go. I miss my curly hair and I just want to make sure that it reverts honestly. Right now I'm going to finish watching a couple of vlogmas videos. So it is the next day now. It's Monday the 10th. So the weekend's over. This reading vlog was a fail. I barely read. I read, I think it amounts to a little under 200 pages. So yeah, when I left you guys, I did that like bullet journal, like sort of plan with me, not really because my bullet journal is so minimalist at this point. I ended up listening to more of Purple Hibiscus. When I converted like the minutes to pages, I ended up reading about 67 pages yesterday or 62 or something. So yeah, that was my reading for yesterday. Something exciting that happened that I just wanted to mention because it was literally the most exciting point of my day and like the rest of the evening, I was kind of not feeling great. And then I was like reading the comments on my November wrap up and I saw Whitney from Witty Novels commented and she's one of my favorite channels. In the wrap up, I talk about Children of Blood and Bone and then she offered to send me her comments Copy, and I was like really shook and I was like I didn't know how to react and I was probably a weirdo so if you're watching this uh hi I'm sorry I'm a weirdo but yeah um so that was like the highlight of my night and it was also super funny because I saw the comment as I was literally about to go play Animal Crossing um and I didn't tell her that because I didn't want to be weird but like Whitney plays Animal Crossing like a lot in her vlogs and stuff and yeah so I feel like I don't know, I, I willed it to happen, not really, but like the universe knows things. So anyway, yeah, that was exciting. And then today I finished Purple Hibiscus. It was good, I gave it four stars. I actually haven't written my Goodreads review of it because I just didn't know what to say. Like it was written really well and the story was good. Just the ending was kind of like a, what is going on? And this is Adiche's debut novel and I was reading some other reviews that, and you can kind of tell in the scent. I mean, I can't really tell because I'm probably dumb, but I don't know. It just didn't hit me the same. I guess maybe because I couldn't relate as much. Not that, I don't want to be like, oh, I only like books where I relate to the characters. I don't know what it was. I think maybe a little bit was the main character's 15, I think. And she has like a crush on someone older and I didn't like how that was done. What else? It was also the narrator made her sound older like i wasn't sure how old she was for a lot of the book and i don't know but yeah four stars i would recommend it if you want to read chimamanda and goze adiche's books and there's trigger warning for abuse thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any opinions about anything i did this weekend even though i didn't really do much and i'm really bad at vlogging leave a comment down below follow me on my social media Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.